The market was down over a thousand points only for both the Dow and tech to turn green. So let's bring us back before I start talking about the SPY today to yesterday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sell off. I predicted Monday we would go up. Crazy. And I also warned you in yesterday's video that the SPY would go down, that there would be some selling. So selling, yet we end up up. And then what did I tell you yesterday's video? Tuesday and Wednesday, I expect selling. And I expect Wednesday to be at a lower point on the SPY than on Friday's close. So that's my prediction. Now, why? What's changed since the sell-off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of last week. What's changed in the market? Not very much. We still have the Fed speaking tomorrow, Wednesday at 2 p.m. What else? Well, the Fed will be speaking whether they're gonna be three rates or four rates increase. I'm sure he'll talk about tapering. Some people, it was almost like Wall Street got tipped off today. And if this is the case, if the Fed comes on and says less tapering because the markets are struggling or less tapering because of the virus or less tapering for any reason, okay, the market will shoot up and you'll all know about it. But if the Fed says what I think he will, then not much has changed, right? Russia is still technically on the verge of invading Ukraine. Now, understand, Russia can do whatever they wanted. I heard something interesting that Germany gets half of their energy from Russia. So Germany, who gets half their energy from Russia, has to support Russia. Meanwhile, they're part of NATO. So if Russia invades, Germany really can't do anything. Okay, so that's what else. What else? The 10-year. The 10-year is still under 1.75, so that's not moving. So it brings us to the Fed on Tuesday. Now, yesterday, we saw the SPY go all the way down to 420, which I said resistance was around 421. We saw that, and we saw a strong bounce higher. When I say strong bounce, it went from 420 to 440. I'm going to show you on the chart soon, but we're not there yet. Okay, there were some good buys yesterday. So understand, I spoke to some of my buddies in New York and I'm like, hey, crazy time in the market. I still think it's going lower. He said, yes. He said, but we still made some purchases yesterday. And I said, why if you think it's going lower? He said, because they're good values. And I said, what kind of stocks would be good values? Square, which is now known as Block, was as low as 102. I believe it's like 112 or 113. And yes, Bitcoin and crypto was throwing up, but Square makes money through transactions. What else? DocuSign, D-O-C-U, was down to 109. Then I think it pumped up to like 116. I mentioned Coin to my platform. It went to 162. Do you know where it closed at? 191. Um, I mentioned it at 169. So 169 to 199, uh, 91 is what, 22 points, which is about what, 16% good move. Um, NASDAQ. The movement that it saw yesterday morning, it has not seen that movement or that level in eight months. So here's the theory behind what I'm gonna tell you today. The NASDAQ went down to a level it hasn't seen in eight months yesterday, okay? Now, when you look at a chart, have you heard the term double bottom? Of course you have. We've heard double bottom, double top, triple top. It just means that once it goes down to a certain level, it doesn't visit there once, so I'll ask you, Think about your stocks, rhetorical question. Your stock, whatever the lowest point it was yesterday, do you ever think it's going lower than that? One of my favorites, my new favorites, Adobe. And I said, anything under 500 is a good buy. So Adobe was 505, it went down to like 480 something. Great purchase right there. Now it's up at 520. So you'll ask me, Matt, do you ever think Adobe is going under 500 again? It most certainly could, depending on what the Fed says. And let's remember, inflation and interest rates, right? The 10 years at what, 1.74, 1.72. What if it goes back to 1.89 like it was last week? Let's say the dollar goes higher as well. Makes it more expensive to invest in our markets. So I ask you this question, it's rhetorical. Do you think what we saw yesterday is the worst? We're never gonna hit those levels again. I think we will. So here's the three month of the SPY. Now, of course, after nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down, I tell you this a lot. So after three intense selling days, somebody, Wall Street, saw some value. Of course they did. There are a bunch of stocks that look tasty to me, but I like to get in at the best price. So what I think is gonna happen, let me bring up the five day. So what I think is gonna happen now that we have this crater on the five day is, I expect that we're probably gonna revisit right in here, somewhere between 
426 and 430. I'm pretty sure we'll be there tomorrow. Now, if we go there tomorrow, understand the SPY will be down. You could probably play both sides. You could probably start off with puts and then turn into calls like you could today. But let's think longer out, less risk. Give me something next week. Okay, next week, what's gonna happen? I already told you, I like to see double bottom. So I believe we're gonna revisit right in here again, right in 422, right in 423. It'll happen sometime later this week. Nothing goes straight up unless the Fed comes out and they're saying they're not gonna taper, which will be Wednesday, 2 p.m. So what's gonna to happen tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I expect some consolidation. This is a very small line. I expect to consolidate right in here. I expect the UVXY to go up. I expect the SPY to go down. I think you could play both sides, calls and puts on both sides, as long as you're playing the puts on the spike, the calls on the floor, and vice versa for UVXY. Check out my other videos. Remember, I'm here to help you diagnose and process the market.